straight to Paul Scholes! What about that? Hello guys, you're watching Footy First HD. This is a Barcelona preview slash uh, an update on Angel Di Maria and where he will be playing next season. So first with the Barcelona preview, uh, we play there in approximately three hours by the time you're watching this video. It's going to be a really exciting game and I'm really really looking forward to it. Um, it won't be as competitive as usual but um, it will give us a brief indication where we stand as a club with our new signings and how they're setting in and just how everyone else is adapting to this new look Manchester United side. Um, we will be missing quite a few key players in Angel Di Maria which I will talk about later. Marcos Rojo, Javier Hernandez and Bastian Schweinsteiger who has been reported to have a minor injury and he will be missing the game. Uh, it is a minor injury, so I'm sure he can still play but we don't want to risk it, it's a pre-season game, we know how good he is, so yeah. Um, Lou Van Gaal had a press conference yesterday and he did say that this squad, will, uh, most of the players that play 60 minutes in this, in this match will be the likely lineup for the first game of the season on 8th of August against Tottenham Hotspur at Old Trafford. So, once we see the lineup today, we will have a good indication on what the team will look like against Spurs. And I'm hoping he doesn't play two in the middle like he has in the past two preseason games. Um, we've blocked up our midfield now Bastian Swain, Schlager, Morgan Schneiderlin, and the Herrera, Michael Carrick, Marouan Fellaini. You know, uh, we've got so many options now. Um, so, I think we should be playing 4 3. Uh, 4 3 2 1, how he ended last season. I think it was 4 3 2 1. So, um, yeah, uh, Lumen Hal also did mention that we will be seeing David De Gea featuring today's game. So, that will be interesting. Um, and he also said that um, he's, he thinks uh, David De Gea will be playing in the first game of the season. So, uh, that's a good thing. Um, who to look out for? Um, obviously, Messi and Neymar won't be playing, which I heard that. So, um, it's still a good team. They just won the Champions League. Uh, Luis Suarez, one to look out for. I'm really hoping they score against us if they do score. Um, Ivan Rakitic. Well, the thing is, I don't know who's I don't know who's playing, so it's a bit difficult to decide who to look out for. So, um, Ivan Rakitic. Yeah. You know the usual, everyone knows Barcelona. So um, I'm going for a score prediction of 1-1. I don't think we're going to win it, but yeah, 1-1. One, one. So um, now moving on to Angel Di Maria and his transfer update. Um, he did say before the Copa America that um, uh, he said, now I'll play the Copa America and then I'll move back to Manchester for next season and do my best there. So I hope he's going to do a favorite Fabian Delph and move to PSG. Um, he is a world class player, everyone knows that. So I think he should at least stay one more season and just prove he's still got it and then he can go. But I wouldn't like him to go, I'm a big fan of him. I've got his name on the of his shirt. So um, yeah, I think he should stay and try and adapt himself to Manchester and the Premier League. So um, yeah. Um, apparently he was supposed to be unveiled uh, today I think and nothing's happened I don't even think he's landed in USA yet so obviously there are rumours but um, I still think there's a bit of truth to him going to PSG so I'm, ho I'm hoping that <coughs> he stayed one more season at least so yeah that's the update on Di Maria I went for a score prediction of 1-1 against Barcelona tonight um, leave your prediction in the comments below like the video <coughs> and also um, my views are going up on my videos but my subscriptions are not so make sure to subscribe as well and I will be producing more content so yeah like this video comment your predictions and your thoughts and make sure to subscribe thanks for watching take care guys